Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to PM Networking. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today again we are going to discuss one troubleshooting scenario. First of all, I am going to make you familiar with this topology. Right? Suppose this is a network of XYZ company. So in the XYZ company, there are two data centers. One is in US and one is in India. So first of all, I will make you understand with this topology. Then I will discuss ticket, what is problem there and then I will show you how to fix it. So guys, make sure you will watch this video till the end. Okay, because this is real time scenario. Maybe when you will work as a network engineer industry, you need to troubleshoot this type of problem in the network. So see, data center of US and data center of India are connected through internet and this is my edge router of US data center and this is my edge router of India data center. Between both edge router, I have created one tunnel and this is IP address on tunnel interface of router 1 and this is IP address of tunnel interface of router 3, router of India as data center. Okay, guys, here you can see these two engineer are network engineer right so name of this person is Karan and name of this person is Ravi so Ravi and Karan is network engineer in XYZ company so these two people are responsible to manage the network to troubleshoot network right whenever need to add some devices these guys are able to do these things but problem is now Karan is able to access this router right edge router of India but Ravi is not able to access this edge router of India but Ravi is able to ping this router Ravi can ping this router 3 but it cannot take telnet access and Karan is able to ping as well and take telnet access as well these all these two people have access telnet access of all devices in the entire network of XYZ company because these two are technical person in the company okay so here you can see ticket is Karan is able to take telnet access of India router but Ravi is not able to take telnet access of India router ping between Ravi's computer and India router is working fine so problem is Ravi is able to ping this router but it is not able to but the, uh, Ravi is not able to take telnet access okay so guys problem can be you know if Ravi is able to ping that means there is no any problem with connectivity yes or no so I am not going to check anything right configuration of router 1 configuration of router 2 because connectivity is there that's why Ravi is able to ping directly what I am going to check first of all I am I, I am going to check the IP address of Ravi and IP address of Karan is you know just to check what is the default is default gateway configure on these PCs right and definitely you know default gateway is configure right that's why these are able to ping so I don't think that we need to check IP configuration on Ravi uh, PC or on current PC because these guys are able to ping right Ravi is able to access router 1 is able to access router 2 but Ravi is not able to access only router number 3 so that means problem is here only on router number 3 only so directly what I am going to do I am going to take telnet access of router 3 from current computer and then I will troubleshoot it because suppose I am in I am in uh, US data center or suppose you are current just you need to troubleshoot that why Ravi is not able to take telnet access of router number 3 because you have telnet access of router 3 so only Karan can troubleshoot it ok so let me take access of Karan laptop here you can see I have access of Karan laptop and I have access of Ruby laptop ok first of all let me show you that I am able to ping or not so here on router number 3 you can see I am using IP address from this network 192.168.20.0 so on router number 3 on LAN interface I think I have configured 20.20.100 20 here 20.100 here public IP address is 101.1 here public IP address is 101.2 here public IP address is I think 102.2 and here 102.1 
one. Okay, so I am going to ping this IP address twenty dot one hundred from current PC first. Ping. Let me ping one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot twenty dot one hundred. Yes, I am able to ping router number three. Right, edge router of India branch. Let me ping from Ruby computer as well. Ping one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot twenty dot one one hundred. Not one one. Yes, from here also I am able to ping. Okay, maybe there are some ACL configuration or configured or not or three or what is the problems? I am going to check. But first of all, let me check that am I really not Ruby is really not able to take telnet access. One ninety two dot one sixty eight dot twenty dot one hundred telnet and this IP address from Ruby computer. I am going to take telnet. Yes, it's saying connection refused by remote host. Definitely, Ruby is not able to take telnet access. Let me take telnet access from current computer. One ninety two dot one sixty eight dot twenty dot one hundred. Yes, current is able to. Take telnet access of router number three. Username is guys Cisco and password is Cisco one two three. So let me type Cisco one two three. Okay. So now you can see I have access of router three. Let me change host name first of all here. Oh my God! Enable password is also configured there and enable password is also I think Cisco one two three. Yes. Okay. Let me change host name. Host name R three. Okay, now what I am going to do? I am going to check running configuration of router three first. Okay, like let me check the running configuration of this interface and this interface because is there any ACL configured on here and here or not? Okay, if ACL is configured here, so Ruby is actually able to ping. That means definitely maybe extended ACL can be configured over here because through extended ACL we can. Block the services, so maybe ACL, you know, telnet services disabled for Ruby. Okay, so let me check. So, so run, guys. Now I am on computer of Karan. From here, I have take access of router number three, and now I am checking configuration of router three. So, run interface f zero slash zero. Okay, here you can see I have not configured any access control list. Here, just IP address is running. This is the IP address on WAN link. Okay. After that, let me check running configuration of which interface. Ah, uh, one slash zero f one slash zero. Here also you can see I have not configured any access control list. Here IP address is 192.168.20.100. So if Ruby is not able to take telnet access of router three, and there is no any ACL configured on physical interface, so maybe ACL can be configured on line VTY interface. So let me check. So run interface. Not like that. What we can say? So run running config and section. Line VTY. Just let me check the line VTY configuration over here. Is everything okay? Let me check. Okay, line VTY zero for no. Here you can see access class VTY allow in direction. This is the name of access control list. So that means someone have configured access control list, and that access control list is applied on line VTY zero for in which direction? In in direction. And here you can see password is Cisco one two three, and login local command is enabled there. So that's why we need you know username and password both, because difference between login and login local is login will only ask you password and login local will ask you both password as well as username. So guys, now what I need to do? I need to check this access control list. That what is the entry? Inside this access control list, so let me copy it. This is name access control list. So access control access list and standard not like that. So IP access list standard.
let me put the name of access list directly over here name is this one okay so you can see access control list vty allow this is my access control list name and these are the entry in this access control list so how many ip address are permitted okay so this ip address is permitted this ip address is permitted let me check now ip address of Ruby. what is the ip address of Ruby? here so ip interface brief so ip address of Ruby is 192.168.10.20 let me check that 10.20 is allowed or not here no guys you can see 20 is not allowed over here and by default implicit deny is applied so this ip address i think this is ip address of current pc 10.10 .10. let me check no now i have you know taken access of this router on current so okay definitely this is ip address of current because here you can see four match but 10.20 ip address is not allowed which is the ip address of ruby so what i need to do i need to permit the ip address of ruby as well over here so let me take you on config t after that ip access list standard and name is not no 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 ip access list standard and name was vty underscore allow this was the name let me check again yes vty underscore allow hit enter and let me permit one more ip address over here that is 192.168.10.20 this is the ip address of rabi let me hit enter over here and now if you will verify access control list vty underscore allow you can see 20 is also allow okay now let me check that Ruby is able to take telnet access or not telnet 192.168.20.100 yes now you can see Ruby is able to take telnet access yes or no username is cisco password is cisco123 yes enable and uh, cisco123 is enable password now you can see Ruby is now also able to take telnet access of router number 3. Now problem is resolved. So guys this was a very basic troubleshooting of telnet. If you learn something from this video please hit on like button. We will meet soon in next video till then stay safe guys. If you have not subscribed this channel make sure after this video you will subscribe my channel as well. Okay guys thanks for watching bye bye.